Hey guys, I was just uh, wanting to sit and talk a little bit. I've been thinking a lot about my goals lately and just kind of how I want to pursue being an artist. I've just been feeling really torn about like, do I want to do this full time at some point? Do I want it to just be a hobby and not like sullied by just this capitalist world that we live in and like doing art for a profit, which is not a bad thing. It's it's just a really interesting feeling. I'm afraid of it losing the kind of the magic that it has um, by having it be something that I rely on for income. But at the same time, I feel very passionate about it. But anyways, I'm rambling a little bit. I was doing a little bit of soul searching and thinking about some of the goals that I set at the beginning of the year and kind of reevaluating them and kind of seeing what I did and what I didn't do. So the other day I went on a walk and sat down outside and just tried to really think through all of these different things. And I wanna share a little bit about what I came up with and sort of how I adjusted my goals for 2022, or sorry, 2023. See, I can't even keep my ears straight. <laughs> Okay, so I got my laptop and I'm gonna show you all my notions template and kind of run down my goals, what they were at the beginning of the year, quarter one, January through March, and kind of how I'm feeling now and how I plan on reevaluating things. Okay, so first we have my social media goals. As you can see, I have my goals separated from social media, business goals, and artistic goals. So for my social media goals, I have post consistently to Instagram, post consistently to YouTube, and take a social media break once a quarter. And for quarter one, my plan for consistency, in my mind, was a little over optimistic. I was hoping to post two to three reels a week and one to two posts a week. This is somewhat realistic, but um, with a full-time job, doing all of the social media stuff and also still having time to create art and also still having a social life and also managing my mental health, a little too difficult. And honestly, Instagram hasn't been very fulfilling lately. Not only is the platform not really growing, but also I just feel like I haven't really been able to interact with others as much. It feels like we're all so frustrated that none of us are really interacting with each other on there and we're finding new ways to engage. And I don't know, I'm just a little fed up with Instagram. So I've decided that I'm going to aim for one reel and one post a week. I think that's a lot more, more realistic. It also keeps me off the app as uh, frequently. And I might still try to plan out the posts online, but honestly, that took a long time. And I think as long as I'm working a nine to five, I'm just gonna do it the good old fashioned way. Now for YouTube, my goal was about three videos a month. I don't believe that I hit that. Um, there was quite a few times where I'd had a video ready and then scrapped it last minute or scrapped it in the middle but a lot of the reasons that I was not completing those videos was because there was either a really big problem, I didn't like the footage, um, some of it was perfectionist stuff, but some of it was also just realizing that it wasn't really what I wanted to put out there. And luckily I fixed a lot of the problems that um, were coming up. A lot of it had to do with footage quality and since getting a new lens, that's been a lot better because it does a lot better in lower light situations. But I think I'm gonna stay with about three to four, aiming kind of for semi every other week, like occasionally there might be two in a row. I don't currently think that every week is possible for me just with how time consuming it is, from creating the thumbnails, which I really struggle with, to editing the video, selecting music, um, just all the preparation that goes into that that isn't even involved in the filming process itself is a lot of work. And so I think that maybe three to four a month is reasonable. Now, 
for business. <laughs> I basically didn't have this um, in quarter one. I did make a new website or I fixed my old website. As you can see here, I wanted to expand shop offerings. I have done none of that. I haven't really made enough art to do this, <laughs> um, but I think that's okay. Honestly, it's been a bit of a rough year and this definitely fell to the wayside and I think that's okay. Um, as for a new website or portfolio, I did start making a square site, a uh, square space site, but I found that at least for what I'm doing right now, it's a little expensive. It's not expensive for what you get, but I think for what I need right now, I really just need a shop page and then maybe something to house a portfolio. And I found that I could do that with Big Cartel. And so I think I'm gonna continue using a cheaper platform for now. And then later, as my business grows, maybe move on to something bigger. But for now, it just doesn't really feel worth the money to me. And then I wanted to attend new markets. Haven't attended any, um, but that's okay. Again, it's cold in the winter and it's also a lot of work. So I decided that I wasn't gonna do any this spring slash winter. So I decided that for my business goals for quarter three was really just to open up my shop for the summer. I don't plan on releasing any new products, just kind of putting up what I already have. And I think that that is probably the most I'm gonna do over the summer. And I do need to finish my big cartel site. Really all I have left to do is just photograph some prints and get all the products ready to go. And then we'll be golden. And then I might research some markets for fall. I don't think I wanna do any summer markets. I've, I've just been feeling so burnt out in so many areas of my life. And I think I've just gotta figure out what I'm going to prioritize. And speaking of prioritize, um, last we have my artistic goals. Now it's kind of funny that that's at the bottom because that really is kind of how it's felt. And I wanna change that. The whole reason I'm even pursuing a business in art is because I'm passionate about art and I want to make that a bigger part of my career at some point. So I really wanna focus in quarter three on creating art, pushing past perfectionism and kind of finding my creative self again. I feel like I've kind of lost some of that spark because of all the pressure from the things you saw above. And so I really want to put the artistic goals above everything else. That is my priority because that's what I find the most joy in. And why do this if it doesn't bring any joy? So the goals that I had before, I kind of want to just continue on into quarter three. So I want to continue pushing storytelling and my artwork. And uh, one of the things I had for quarter one that I was going to do was make a zine. I did not end up getting to do that, but it's something that I would love to create during the summer. I also want to do a little more writing. I am not a writer, but I want to write more as preparation for art pieces. And I did that a little bit with my most recent piece, um, but that is something I really want to do more of. I've been really wanting to put more of myself into my artwork. And then for try collage, I actually did do that. I really like how the piece turned out. I did film it. It does say here, can also be a good video. I did film it and the footage was crap. So didn't turn into a video, but it was a really great experience. And while it's not something I think I'm gonna do a ton of, I wanna try doing some more. And so for quarter three, I wanna try art journaling. And this is more for my own self and maybe finding a way to kind of process emotions. And I think that that's something that I could really incorporate collage into, both with art pieces, tickets, little things that I find around the house. And I'm sorry, my brain is pausing a lot today, but that is kind of how I plan on continuing that goal. And then for my last goal was to not avoid creating something because I don't know how to do it. I think I've done a little better at this. I feel a lot less afraid of tackling material I'm unfamiliar with, which is most things, but I wanna push myself by actually practicing. And so one of my goals is to try completing one painting a week. Now, I it's okay if I hate this painting. I think that, especially because of social media, 
I've put so much pressure on myself for my work to be good to the point that I redo most of the paintings that I do two to three, sometimes even four times. And I'm kind of sick of that. I want to move on to other subject matter and keep pushing my skills. And while I do a lot of learning that way, and I'll probably still redo pieces every now and then, I want to focus a little more on quantity. Not that I don't care about quality, but I want to push my skills more by creating more work and doing more art and not getting so caught up on the little details. It's honestly a difficult balance to find, but I'm kind of considering this summer to be like art boot camp for me. And so I'm gonna really try to sketch more, paint more, put a lot more time into my creative hobbies. Anyways, that was a lot of rambling, but honestly, I'm a verbal processor and I feel a lot better after going through all of that. And I hope if any of you are working through similar things that maybe that was helpful and not stressful. But now that we have done all that productive stuff, I think it's time to make a smoothie and go on a little walk before moving on with the rest of my day. You gonna say hi? You gonna say hi? It's project day. We've been kind of rearranging the apartment and everything's really crazy and messy right now. We've had quite a few mishaps. Um, for example, we ordered a new desk for my husband and it came with like missing a bunch of stuff. And so a lot of stuff was in disarray because places didn't or things didn't have places to go but we were able to find some solutions, at least temporarily. But what I'm working on right now is painting some frames. So I originally, oh, sorry, my cat. I am balancing my camera on the cat tree right now. Um, originally, we have this like kind of dark blue wall. I, uh, that was where all of our kind of gallery wall and art pieces were, but we have since moved a bunch of stuff and I am kind of trying to figure out what colors and kind of how to arrange the frames on this new wall since it's not white, it's like a beige. I don't know if you can kind of see behind me, it's that color. So this is the wall everything's going to be going on. So you can see that I actually painted this like a purple first and then I kind of compared it to the wall and realized that it just really did not go even though it was a really pretty color. So I picked this kind of green color and I think I'm just gonna continue on with greens and blues for that wall. And some of the frames I have are black, so I might kind of do a combination of the two. We'll see kind of how that looks. Hey, coming at you from a slightly different angle. Been working on this for a while. My husband and I have been doing a lot of troubleshooting. I've been painting frames then hopping in and helping with some of the other stuff we've been doing and it's just been a lot and the apartments are really hot right now but hopefully later tonight we can hang up the frames if not maybe tomorrow because they might need just a little bit more time to dry we will see but this frame was originally this kind of oak color and now it's dark green and i'm very excited about that especially for some of the prints that i will be putting in them later
it's finally done. It took a lot longer than I was thinking it would. However, I also thought I would need help hanging this stuff up, but I was able to, by using sort of like the paper trick and a leveler, get it all up. It's not perfect. I kind of feel like it's missing something, but I also think that maybe I'm just not used to it yet. So I'm very proud of myself and I am ready to actually Wow, my brain is not working today. <laughs> I think I'm ready to move on to other projects and I'm thinking I might do some sketching tonight. It's been a while since I sat down and did some art. So I think I'm gonna make some dinner and then sit down and have a little, a little time. 